<laughs> Tell me what's up with cold wash. So, okay. Oh, I'm so glad you brought this up. Okay. Because <laughs> this is one of the things that, I, in my, it, also in my Repair Your Hair Challenge um, class, one of the things that we talk about one of the days is on repairing bad habits. And so co washing yes. is one of the bad habits we talk about. And that's what we're here so, for. Let's hit us with the good habits. <laughs> talk about the bad and hit us with the good. All right. So co washing, the, let's talk about the history of co washing. Okay. People started co wash. First of all, co washing means to wash with conditioner. Right. So the co means conditioner for those right. who are watching who are like, what does that mean? Right. Or also, a lot of times in this industry, in this like natural hair space, whether yes. you're like a maker like myself or if you're a consumer, you hear certain terms and a lot of times we just go with it. Right. Like, yes. so I'm co washing. So people don't really even know what they're doing. Right. Yeah, okay. Let so us know if you knew what co washing was. Let us know in the comments if you even knew what co washing was. <laughs> So co-washing literally means to wash your hair with conditioner in lieu of shampoo. And the reason that people were doing this, it was out of, again, out of necessity at the time. Now think back 10, 15 years. We've been in this whole, like, I'm going to call it the new natural hair wave for, let's say, 10 years, right? Mm -hmm. But let's think back a little bit past that, like 10 years to 15 years ago. If you were looking for a natural hair product, you cannot go to Target, you cannot go to Rite Aid, you cannot go to Neiman Marcus, Ooh, you cannot like go anywhere. To that. <laughs> yeah, you had to go to the hood, you had to go to like somebody's like back house, warehouse kind of place and find possibly Carol's daughter, maybe Shea Moisture. And Shea Moisture then was not what Shea Moisture is now. Shea Moisture came in this real plain looking bottle. It was like a brand new brand and it wasn't all fancy and glam like it is now. It was real basic, right? And I remember the first time I ever even saw Shea Moisture at the time was at like one of those like, like African-American like outdoor festivals. Like that's where you had to get this kind of stuff from, right? And so because it was so difficult to find products that were made and truly designed for black hair, not just targeted to black hair, but actually made for black hair, people found themselves needing to co-wash. So the reason for that was that we became, we started to become more acutely aware of ingredients and how they affected our hair. So we started to get real uh, clear that, okay, sulfates in hair care products, they create suds, but they also strip our hair of its natural moisture. As naturally curly girls or kinky girls or coily girls, we don't have very much moisture to begin with and so our hair although it looks like it's strong and it you know it can take a, a whole lot of you know stuff to it it's actually one of the most fragile hair types in the world it breaks very very easily it needs moisture in order to thrive and if it doesn't get moisture it will break it will split at the ends it will shed it will do all the things we don't want it to right and so we started to understand like sulfates were a big problem for us one of the reasons why we were having a hard time retaining length was because sulfates we're stripping the ingredients which create suds in hair care products are the same suds that you can find in Thai laundry detergent. Same ingredient that you can find in Dawn dish soap. So I always tell people, if you wouldn't wash your hair with Thai, don't wash your hair with salt face, right? Whoa, Pop, y'all, let it, if you are shocked like I am right now, give me some shock emojis, some reactions, because I think I just almost, I think you I like just passed out. Like, I, <laughs> I just clutched my purple. I wish I wore my pearls today so I could clutch them. If you clutching your pearls, let us know. Oh my. Yeah. So the same stuff that the same couple of first few ingredients that are in those um, detergents that you wash for use for your dishes or for your clothes are in product. <clears throat> a lot of products that have sulfates in them. Okay. So sulfates literally strip your hair of its of the little bit of moisture we have, leaving you with dry, brittle hair. So what people started doing is they started saying, okay, I'm going to wash with conditioner because it was hard to find products made for us and conditioner did not strip our hair, right? Right. Here's the problem. Conditioners are not, well, okay, shampoos, whether they have sulfates or not, they do a good job of cleaning our hair. Mm -hmm. Products with sulfate strip our hair also, but they're designed to clean, right? Conditioners are not designed to clean your hair. <clears throat> and remember, I just said, that the goal is to get your scalp clean. If your scalp's not clean, your hair can't thrive, it can't grow like it should. So conditioners, think about conditioners like lotion, right? Mm -hmm. So if you put, if you're ashy, <laughs> you put on lotion, your hair, your skin is um, possibly shiny, depending on the type of lotion you're using, but it's also smooth, it doesn't feel rough anymore. That's the same thing as conditioners do. When you wash your hair with a, a shampoo, oftentimes it feels rough. You put the conditioner on, it smooths it down, it feels good again, right? Right. That's all it does. That's what it's supposed to do. It's not supposed to clean. It's supposed to make things smooth. So you're not even cleaning your hair when you're using conditioner as a wash. 
And back then, that was kind of like we did it because we had to. Yeah. Nowadays, you don't got to do that. There's plenty of products, Naturalicious and other brands, yeah. that have products that are sulfate-free. There's no need to wash your hair with conditioner. If you would not wash your hair with lotion, or let me say, if you wouldn't Ooh. take a shower with lotion, Ooh. then you shouldn't be using conditioner to wash your hair. 